Sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, don't know. Um, so I, I just posted here just before you posted about the, about the base. You know, this is the largest base here on Dash. That's Dash USDT. Um, you can see it's clearly the longest base we've ever had. And normally when you get bases like this uh, at this length, you know, you, you're very close to a move. The, the other important thing that I've seen today, and I forget now where I posted it. Um, I just want to find that actually because I felt it was important. Um, so we talked, we talked, talked a lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, look at this. The, yeah, here, the stablecoin movement. It's the largest stablecoin movement uh, in, in, in a long time. Stablecoins move to exchanges. These reserve stablecoins on spot exchanges increased, right? And then it says these currencies can be used for a buy. So if they're moving stablecoins to the exchange, I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, the, the likelihood is they're looking to buy something. Is that last weekend coins, so I just paused there, and I, you know, last weekend coins went parabolic. Uh, is this what they are setting up again? Um, and, and they're sending, you know, huge amounts of stable coins, at least large amounts of stable coins uh, to exchanges, you know, 111 million. Uh, the amount is not large, but it's the largest inflow this month. So it kind of shows that they are up to something. Um, the, you know, to me, there is the real possibility. I, I still hold Dodo. Um, it was one of my earlier buys, not my best. Like I, I've got an average of around 20 cent or something or 20 I think it's just here at this high above this high because we didn't I was just almost a break even at this pivot so this is one of my worst buys um, uh, I've got this and ICP are pretty much in the same boat actually so you, you can see that look what it needs to bounce it needs to bounce 70% for me to break even this is my worst uh, position and it was a bit early but you know I, c I could easily add here but I'm not going to add just yet you can see I'm probably down 40% on dodo which is uh very frustrating i really don't like holding coins down that much but I, I was early on this one and that's just the way it goes i didn't want to buy in this range i wanted to buy on new lows if we get that at some point i could easily add here but uh my 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 thought process is that this could get up anyway at some point this can this can run and get above the red 200 moving average whenever that is i don't know but um I'm quite surprised it didn't do it already. I thought this would have been kind of up here already and, and trying to run, but it's obviously the bases are taking, taking longer. That's okay. It is what it is. I don't think, like, I think that these bases are likely and very, very likely to break up, right, and in, into, the, into the red 200 moving average. But I later think that these roll back down again and, and and bottom out below these first lows that you know that's that's my kind of market sentiment that we can bottom out below these first lows um, so you know my thought process while trying to accumulate that um, I would be selling uh, either all my dodo because of my per entry or, or sell half of my dodo and add lower back down here somewhere later now that might take many months this process could take you know six months or a year or I, I really don't know how long it could take um, you know if, if if my theory is correct and then we move into a bull market come into the next having uh, time in and around there now that's that's a very rough time for for the bull market there can be a you know but the secret is to try and get the low averages even, even like I could be wrong and this low could be the ultimate low right it could be but my my thought process is that at some point after the move we can come down to new lows um time will tell if i'm right or not in the near term uh you know i am looking for these to break up um it's not guaranteed uh, you know but stock markets at this point seem to have bottomed for now until a new quarter um maybe on a new quarter then they can continue dropping of course if the stock market takes out all lows then you know uh, I'm wrong on that. You know, many coins at this point in time have created uh, a bullish two-week candle, like you can see here, uh, and Dodo including. You know, it created a higher low, but that higher low now, it does leave us bullish. 
and we are bullish above that green line dodo is bullish above the green line if we break below the green line then okay well maybe all bets are off we can start to be bearish again but this is not a bad setup in theory um you know uh we drop down a new two week take some liquidity below and we continue and pump back up there's a lot of two week bullish stop hunts in the market right now uh, i posted about rune mm, uh i don't know yeah in the old chat uh rune is another one there was double double bottom kind of stop hunt you know even ethereum has a bullish two week stop hunt has a bullish monthly stop hunt um so in the meantime in the near term i think we have to be bullish uh until proven otherwise of course it's not been good uh, to be bullish in this market um, but you know until proven otherwise this is a bullish setup above above this green line this in theory should be a bullish base we're kind of we're getting it's up five percent today um, would have been nice to dip back down a little bit but uh, I'm okay with this running I, I'm holding very tempted to add the new lows but I, I told myself I'm going to be disciplined on it because I was too early uh, and I didn't have a good entry point on it and I kind of had my allocated capital into this coin uh, you know because I, I hold 15 I think it's different coins potentially so I, I can't just start throwing too much money into one coin because it was a poor entry uh, you know later I can do that at, at, at better prices if I think that this market is not bottomed well I think I can get out of this situation um, you know at break even and even make profit on this from 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 even my entry and later i'll reassess and i'll get in and, and if i if this drops down from here well then i'll have to add lower that's just the way it is so it's either i get out of the profit or make money um or if it goes lower uh, i'll add and give myself a better uh longer term entry you know my my average entry is 97 percent down or something so it's you know it's not that bad in theory I, i'm 97 percent better than all of these other people um you know so I, I can't complain too much um, even though I'm not happy with it um, but uh, you know price is still down 98 and a half percent at the moment and at the very lows I, we were down almost 99 98.8 percent so uh, I'm just having patience if it runs it runs so be it I will then uh, you know either sell uh, or um, uh, sell half or sell sell you know I, I love to I'll have to see in the moment to see what see what uh, you know my plan is to sell at least half um, or maybe all above the red 200 moving average whenever we get up there and I'm hoping at this point that uh, actually let me check a monthly um, that that we can get some sort of traction from this this bullish stop hunt on the monthly It'd be nice if this monthly flip, flip green here we're up 5.7 percent today the three month also had a bullish stop hunt um, down here as you can see beautiful inside bar bullish stop hunt popped up and now almost trying to flip green um, you know I don't see any monster spikes or huge breaks up but um, it would be nice to see this flip green and get some traction again I, I don't think the low for dodo is in uh, at some point I suspect lower prices it's been a horrible coin <laughs> look at this uh, I mean every coin is pretty much the same to be honest most coins at least uh, back from May 10th of May when we put in that bottom um, you know it's it's just been a choppy mess the sooner we get to the, the white 100 moving average the sooner that this compresses down into price somewhere down in here this can often cause big moves up or decent moves up at least so um, it's going to be interesting if and when well when we get there if I zoom out here you can see the volume the volume down here is good that that's what you want to see down close to the lows nine week last thing here um, the nine week that I didn't talk about is uh, you know we have a bullish stop hunt on that as well so as long as these bullish stop hunts are holding you know we do have to have a slight bullish bias that this can get some sort of traction to the upside if they break well you know we, we got to be careful <music> Oh,